but he's okay to go one last round. But they really haven't done a whole heck of a lot to uh, to help uh, help him out there, Rochette. Michelle Rochette, Peter Freer for the vacant FFKA lightweight championship, the 12th and final round. Rochette just doesn't have any legs at this point. He's going to have to throw a home run punch here to have any chance. Absolutely no question. I mean, uh, Rochette, you just throw those eight foot kicks as quickly as he can and just go right at him. Because this is it for him. He's got to knock uh, Freer out. At least by my card. Box up, box up. Coming inside again on the ropes. Freer has Rochette pinned. Rochette trying to hold him up, hold that right gets through by Freer. Freer's going to win this title. He's he's not going to sit back and coast through this round, even though I think he could. He really wants to he wants to stop Rochette. He's going to earn that belt tonight. Yeah, he has earned it. A more experienced guy and presumably a stronger guy almost. Uh, but the right kick doesn't come close. The jabs by Rochette to hold Freer off. Now a right. You would just hate to see uh, Rochette land a haymaker right now and, and, and put Freer out away from this. It's a very dangerous tactic, but I guess he, he feels he's so much further, much under control right now that he can do that. He just looks beat, though, Rep. Yeah. The last 30 seconds here in this 12th round to decide the lightweight championship. Time, time, time. We're about to back your head. One last roundhouse by Rochette. And it's Freer in close with the right. Over the top again. And that's it. And Peter Freer certainly thinks he has won this FFKA lightweight championship. But it will go to the judges. There is nothing telling on the face of Peter Freer. No, he he really, really was in control of that fight. I gave him the last six rounds in a row. He wasn't, I think he took the most serious punishment he took, I think, was in the first two rounds when uh, when Rochette was pressing him, landing the body punches, but really that was Freer's fight from the middle rounds on. Tremendously impressive. Especially to step up in class like that and to dominate someone like Rochette, who, you know, is a world-class kickboxer. That's right, and uh you know, and having his last fight with uh, Troy Dorsey, uh, who was a world class both in professional boxing and kickboxing, uh, that's some kind of feat what he did tonight. Well, Michelle Rochette, as we say, at the age of 34, hadn't fought in nearly a year, and this was a, a telling fight for him whether or not the uh, body would. Allow him to come back. What do you think it told him, Steve? I, I think for Michelle Rochette, that's got to be pretty close to the end of the line. I don't think I think he expected to come in here and have a reasonably easy night, actually, with Peter Freer. Um, by reputation, that was the way it was going to go. But I think to be dominated like that, really, in so many areas, I think it'd be, it can't be encouraging at age 34 to make you want to go on. Is there a difference, Ray, when you consider age in kickboxing as compared to just boxing, I mean, we seem to see fighters fighting longer, kickboxing a little bit well, physically more demanding. You would certainly think so. I mean, you're using uh, both your arms and legs, and uh, kickboxing, you would suspect, would be a lot more demanding uh, on the body. And yet a lot of these kids are fighting, uh, as you say, I mean, they're not kids. They're 30, 31 years old tonight that we're seeing. So. Well, Peter Freer told us this morning, Steve Ray, that he wanted to be a champion. And he certainly thinks he has won it here. Still awaiting the decision. It really was a terrific bout. Peter Freer and Michelle Rochef.
Freer, who already has a North American light welterweight championship. And well, Michelle Rochette may be thinking right now it's uh, not worth it. And that is a bad cut over the left eye. Let's go for the official decision, Norm Rumack. Ladies and gentlemen, with scores of 119 to 12, 116 to 113, and 116 to 113, a unanimous decision in favor of Peter Freer! <laughs> 31-year-old Peter Freer has accomplished one of life's goals to become a champion and the bricklayer from kitchener is the new ffka lightweight champion and well deserved oh well deserved a, a, a terrific performance stylish performance he had power he actually he, i think he outsmarted rochette and made rochette get old tonight i think they sometimes fighters get old all at once and i think we saw that with rochette not just because he wasn't there to start with, but because of what Freer could do to him. Yeah, I think you're right. And against all odds as well, I mean, no one in this room other than, you know, Peter Freer in his corner thought he was actually going to beat this for Shet. So, uh, full credit to him. And the crowning moment for any champion, the belt. Lightweight champion, Peter Freer, to go along with his North American light welterweight championship. I think he gives up the day job now, Vic. I don't know. The training, the training he got from Rick Lang, he said he stands there with his pallets of bricks, hands them up and down all day, but before he hands them up to the guys who are going to lay them, he does about 10 or 12, but when, when he throws them up to When him. the guys yell at him. I That's think that was right. the other part. <laughs> the guys scream at him all day. Congratulations to Peter Freer, the FFKA lightweight champion.